this is a review of a um, Oxford Bible that I got at a book fest. I paid two dollars for this Bible. This is a very old Bible. I it just it is it, it just astounds me how somebody could actually get rid of a family you know a family Bible. It's not really a family Bible, but somebody in the family's Bible. I mean, this thing, okay, it's a little bit beaten up. It has been read, but oh, I don't know. I don't know how someone can do it. This is um extremely soft leather, as you can see. It is. Now, all I did was, I just cleaned it. That's all I did. I didn't put any extra special stuff on it. It was already soft. It is. You got your black inside. It is a. I think the size of this thing. It's not that big. I've got my pit minion here, and it's about. Uh, my pit minion's actually bigger. Um, this one, the Oxford, is actually wider, but the pit minion's actually bigger. This Bible is actually the Oxford is actually smaller, as you can see by that much. So. It's actually softer than that one. <laughs> this one's really soft. Um, yeah, they, they made them nice back then. That's just a hole. I mean, like I said, this Bible is old. This Bible is actually 110 years old, this Bible. It could be a little bit older, I'm not sure, but that's when it was given to this young gentleman, Alan Charles Champ. Um, Campbell's with love from his aunties and it was Jenny and Flo in February the 13th 1908 that and this is the only writing in the whole Bible the rest of the Bible is completely clean now it has been read because you can see I'll just show you this you can see here all of the New Testament I'd say that's where it mostly got used was in the New Testament because it's all a bit you would just be a bit careful with this because it is a bit fragile it's a very nice Bible let's pick it up and see if you can see the references in this it's quite clear too very nice print it says at the front it's an emerald text at the top they even have the dates I like that in a Bible. You got chapter headings. Your page numbers are down the bottom. Yeah. Like I said this thing is really nice. It is indexed, but you've got um, like the Old Testament is this way, and then the New Testament is this way. So it's not like like now they like, sort of have them all down one side like all down one side here here if you split it in the middle you've got old you can see the old on this side and the new the new testament on this side it is art built too yeah. it's not a red letter of course but i mean they didn't do red letters back then at this stage but this thing has ample information at the back of it it's just it's like a study I'd say way back then you know this is how they used to do a study Bible because this thing has heaps of helps at the back I mean it is humongous what they have at the back that's how thick it is at the back it's like nearly half the Bible it is in helps Gotta be gentle with the pages because they are a bit brittle. It's not not a Bible that I'm going to be using. I just I just couldn't let it sit there for two dollars. It was so nice and had so much of this extra information. I just couldn't let it sit there. You know, just couldn't do it. A 
Okay, it has been sitting up on my, my bookshelf for a little while. But I have been picking up every now and then having a bit of a look through it. You know? So, it's got some really nice pictures in it. It scrolls. Now the Book of the Law, it says. Sorry about the shadow. Mm. Right. These sort of pictures. It's a Geneva Bible. This one here. Hole. What else we got in here? We've got the Matthews Bible. There's a page out of all the old Bibles in this. Tyndale's New Testament in here as well. There it is there, see? Coverdale's Bible. Some of these Bibles I've never heard of. I mean, I've heard of Tyndale, of course. Whitecliffe Bible. Oh, these are amazing. Yeah. The Latin Gospel. The Old Latin Gospel. And on and on and on. We ought to go all the way back. Like I said, I, I couldn't leave it. It was just too nice. Okay, we'll go past here. The Gothic Gospel. Like I said, you've got all these nice pictures in this. If you can hear that, she's dreaming. Sorry about that. I'm not going to cut that out. I thought that was quite cute of her having a little dream there. You got this musical instruments. All this, I mean, this is just phenomenal. You've got, and then you've got help. Now, now we go to helps. So you've got here your helps, and you've got the money there. A few other more things, heaps of pictures there. And then you've got study helps of the Bible, the revi revised vision, vision, sorry, of the Bible. Summary of the books. Get summary of all the books. You've even got here about the Maccabees. Right there. These are the book, the apocryphal books. They've got them all here. Like I said, this thing is really nice. You've got your harmonies of the Gospels. You've got quotes in the New Testament that are in the Old Testament. You've got... Uh, and it just goes on and on and on. I mean, this is, like I said, this is a study Bible right at the end of it. You have two Bibles in one, and it's, and it's, no, bigger, it's no bigger than a pit minion. And it's actually nice and clear to read. 
don't make Bibles like this anymore. Such a shame. Because this thing is beautiful. You've got proper names. You've also got the study, study index. And you have really a really good concordance in this. It is quite a large concordance. And at the end, you do have maps. Now the maps are nothing. The old Oxford maps. There's quite a few of them. It's just a bit hard to turn the pages because I'm trying to be careful. Because the last thing I want to do is actually rip a page. Yeah. And it's actually, it says down the bottom here. If you can see that, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. It says silk sewn. And it actually has a full gap. It is, a, it is actually a full yap on this. Okay, it's a full yap. This part here at the top, and they had some ribbons in there. I just touched the ribbons and they just crumbled away. I'm not touching it. And and all here was all really, really bad. So I just sort of cut it to tidy it up so that, you know, it wasn't... Because every time you open it, bits and pieces would fall off. So I just cut it to tidy it up a little bit. But yeah, that's my um, review of this Oxford Emerald Text Bible. I mean, for two dollars, <laughs> this thing is beautiful for two bucks. I mean, like I said, you just have to be careful when you're looking through it; you don't rip it. But yeah, such a nice Bible, and it is clean inside. There's nothing. I couldn't find any writing, any underlining, or anything. So whoever owned it. I mean, they did read it because, like I said, you could tell in the New Testament here where it's a bit pretty tatty. But, um, yeah, there's no writing in it at all. So, well, thanks for watching and that's the review of my, my hundred and, over a hundred and, my hundred and ten year old Oxford Bible. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.